what happens in a lot of technology markets is we get seduced by the technology itself. And I mean the engineers themselves, not just the consumers. So when they think about ecosystems and how to get my product out there, most of them are thinking, how can I get the, the big 600 pound gorilla to be compatible with my system? So they, they keep thinking, oh, if only my stuff will work with Windows, or if only my stuff will work with Xbox, I'm done. So they, they keep thinking about technology compatibility as the big barrier. The problem is most products, even after they're compatible with Xbox, still don't make it. Uh, and that's the piece that we're trying to highlight on this paper. It's those bus business decisions made by those people sitting between the producers and the consumers, the value-added resellers, the wholesalers, the retailers. Those people have, cruci have a very crucial effect on the choice sets that you and I face as consumers. And that's been kind of ignored because technology compatibility is sort of taken center stage in many of these discussions. And we know the answer there. Make it compatible, but that's not enough. And I guess that's probably the message we'd say. Yeah, and the beauty of the paper is it's not only articulated uh, theoretically, not only articulated managerially, but it's got a massive field study in the industrial paints industry, but an industry that was facing exactly these kinds of systems problems and these kinds of value-added reseller problems. So if you actually want to know how it's done and what really happens, this is the place to go to, to actually see what the world, you know, see from a field study view. I think that's part of what sets this apart. I mean, you can decide whether or not you believe us, but take a look at the data because it's real. And it matters, and it matters to, we know it mattered to those ma managers, we know it mattered to those resellers, we know it mattered to those consumers, and we think it matters to all of our readers and all of our audiences. Um, that's why we were so excited to write this paper. So here's a cheat sheet version of it. If you're a manufacturer, if you're an engineer designing something, well, it goes without saying technology is the, uh, has to be compatible, otherwise you're not even in the game. You're not going to be in that ecosystem unless it's compatible. That's number one. But number two, you should be humble enough to recognize that the person at the other end wants mixed and matched systems. They want the latest, greatest uh, something in the world, but are willing to give up other pieces of it. That's number two. You should be a little bit more humble about presuming that your brand, all the components of your brand, are the, are the number one choice of the consumer. That's not unlikely to be. Number three, these resellers are your friends. They're not your enemies. So you shouldn't try to jam all your components down their throats and say, you sell all of my stuff or else I'm not playing ball with you. Uh, how, do you how do you ally with them? By encouraging them and subsidizing them to meet the consumer's needs, not your own needs.